Hi, this is Michael. Welcome to week seven. So uh, for the past three or four weeks, it's been pretty interesting since you've been thinking about these topics, you've been getting some feedback from me. I'm not necessarily a neutral observer, uh, but you have gotten a little bit of feedback from other students as well. Maybe they've got some ideas that could help you think about how to connect with a customer need and how you're ultimately going to present your uh, navigation and your organization ideas. And that's what's interesting about this week. All that time you've kind of been isolated from showing things to another person and getting feedback from, a let's call it a normal person. And what did we do this week? We created sitemaps. So the sitemaps actually probably brought in some of your thoughts and hopefully uh, some of your thinking around uh, taxonomies, which are just ways to group things and uh, then brought it into a little bit of visual. I, I don't know if you guys realize this, but the whole point of looking through these different navigation styles is to kind of pick one that you think will be helpful to you as we get into what we're gonna do this week. So we're actually gonna visualize some things so that we can show it to somebody and see how good our organization uh, is. Sitemaps, in a, in a certain sense, could be shown to somebody um, this might not be a literal sitemap, and that's where a difficulty comes. We've really worked with databases so that we're thinking a lot more about what's in the database fields, which is great, but sometimes navigation, especially at a high end, is, is very much like there's one page here instead of 20. And that one page just changes depending upon uh, what the user chooses. So it's those big page ideas I would like to focus on, and so you can hopefully easily revise this. I certainly didn't want anybody to think that there was something special or finished looking about a sitemap. It's really a way to get ideas out. Uh, so you're free to revise this and this will actually be uh, one of the first things in your deliverable for assignment number uh, three, which is gonna be coming up in the next couple weeks. So we're gonna do uh, one bit of it this week and then we're gonna do another bit of it. So make sure that you go into uh, week seven and take a look at this wireframing guide. I choose to use uh, Figma because it's pretty easy to use, I think, but you're also, you, you can use pencil and paper. The only difficulty with that is, is of course, just changing your mind a lot or moving things around. Anything to do with iteration is encouraged in this course. So uh, I do want that to be a thing on your mind that anything that you present here is really for feedback from the class. Now, as I said, this next one, you could get feedback from someone else, someone in the organization, even users perhaps, about how things are presented. So let's take a quick look at what we're gonna do this week. And again, this doesn't replace reading uh, about wireframing and its purpose, etc. This is just to give you a um, little quick hint as to what is expected just to keep you on track. So wireframing. Uh, right now, uh, at the top, we, we're going to discuss a little bit of stuff about what, what are we doing this week? What does it look like? Again, this is kind of uh, how you're going to use wireframing to be able to begin to tell a story. And uh, there's some hints up here. Also, how do you arrange things and filter and sort? I'm just throwing some actually really interesting examples. This is not necessarily an example that you have to follow. It's just interesting approaches to the same problem. And... Um, Again, a little bit more outline uh, here, as well as in the in the course topic about what wireframing is. And right down here is where you share your wireframes. What you might wish to do this week is really just to do one page. So I would pick the area where you feel in your sitemap has the most uh, purpose behind it. I know you kind of thought through a whole bunch of different scenarios when it came to navigation. We only have to do one. Those should contain your record. So now you'll go back to your HTML. You'll look at it and you'll visualize what that HTML could look like. And hopefully those structures that you thought of will be represented uh, in your visuals. Now, oftentimes you'll designing is somewhat easier than thinking of structures and it's that's why i have you guys thinking about both so that you actually understand that the relationships and size of the stuff on the screen can change so you'll put some records down usually three records and then you'll show 
around it. How did you get to this place? So that's the goal for this week is to just do one page. It would be really great, as I said, to stay iterative here. So you could um, export a picture and put that here and then link to Figma if you wish to or not. Right now, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're not going to be editing any of your work in Figma. Uh, but uh, an exported picture is a lot easier than a link to Figma because it can be a little bit trickier just from my experience. So that's uh, week seven to actually visualize it and show it to a non-expert and get some feedback on how good and how understandable are your structures that you can put your navigation, your filtering, if, if you choose to do it, anything on an actual page for somebody to be able to understand what your topic is. All right, fun stuff.